Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how the appointments plugin work with the latest WPLMS version 4. So for the version 4, we have renamed the plugin as Vibe Appointment. So it, it is using the same WPLMS appointments framework. So if you were using appointments in version 3, all your appointment slots and bookings will be imported into this plugin seamlessly. So after installing and activating the plugin, you will see the notification to install the appointment tables and you can simply click on it to install the tables. So once the tables are installed, you will no longer see that notice. And we start off by adding the menu in the profile menu. So if you are using the, the custom menu switches from the YBP settings, which means that different users of your site will see different members area. If you have enabled this, then you'll see a different profile menu option for the instructors. And here I have added appointments. So let's just, so once you have saved the profile menu, reset the BuddyPress navigation and you should see the appointments tab in your profile. So in the appointments tab, there are three sub tabs, which is my bookings, appointments and settings. So my bookings is for the student, the appointments and settings is for the instructor. So the terminology that we have used is that a student will book an appointment from the instructor. So let's see how this works. So we go to the appointments tab and here you can see we have the calendar. And right now we are looking at the confirmed bookings tab, which is highlighted. Those appointments which require manual approval are displayed in the pending bookings. Then we have the manage slots. So when we click on this, we, we are in the slots mode and we can add the slots into this calendar. So a slot is a bookable time period that a student can book. And here you can select the range. As soon as you select the range, you'll see that it is now displaying the number of slots which will be added to your calendar. And here you can set the time, 6 p.m. And then you can, so this is a two hour slot as of now, and there are 23 slots which will be created from 7th to, to 30th. So we can break these into sub slots as well. As this is two hour slot, we can break it into either one hour or 30 minute slot. So let's break it. So when I select one hour, the number of slots double and let's add. And here you can see we have the slots for the, for the entire month. Now, if you want to remove slots on particular day, for, ex for example, Sundays, we can simply click on, click on these slots and remove, save these slots. So let's say we save these slots. So now that our slots are saved, each of these slots is now entered into our database. So now if we can remove this slot, it will show the option to confirm or remove this slot. So we can remove a saved slot like this. And as soon as you do that, you'll see the save slots button. To undo, you can simply click on the undo so here we have the calendar ready and we can now move out from the manage slots mode. So when we move out from the manage slots mode, we see that all our slots are now only appearing as highlighted as background events. And right now we are by default in the confirmed bookings zone. So let's see what happens when a student views this user. So right now I'm logged in as, as a student and I'm viewing the instructor's profile. And in the profile, I can see that these are the slots which are available for booking. Now, if you have seen our previous tutorials, you'll see that you can add uh, custom, custom profiles to different member types in your site. So here I have created a custom profile for the instructor wherein the profile shows a bookable calendar at the end of the profile and below it you, you'll see that the reviews for different appointments are also appearing so we'll see how all this works so right now let's book an appointment from the instructor right so when we click on the appointment slot it asks for the confirmation for the booking and you can simply click on it to confirm and you'll see an alert that the booking request has been sent to the instructor 
similarly you can click on other bookings and the user can book slots like these so now when the instructor views the appointment section he get a notification besides the pending bookings that two bookings have been attempted and when you click on it you see that the appointment bookings uh, are displayed in the calendar the instructor can click on it and see which user has requested the booking he can either accept or reject the booking so once the booking has been ex accepted the pending bookings will automatically reduce and when we view the confirmed bookings we see that both of these bookings and the activity will activity tab will show the activities which have been performed on this on this particular slot so now when an appointment state has passed has crossed and the instructor can mark the appointment as complete for the student so once the appointment has been marked as complete the student will be able to see this appointment in the completed booking section and the student can leave a review for the instructor and the student can edit this review as well and these reviews will be available on the instructor's profile now the instructor can also manually assign bookings to the students from the manage slots and just select the slot and search for the member and select the member and assign a meeting note now if there is an existing bbb meeting to which the instructor wants to add this slot to then you can search for that meeting or simply create the meeting for this particular appointment slot so here the bbb meeting has been created and similarly you can create a zoom meeting as well and confirm the slot for this user so as soon as the slot is confirmed the slot will be removed from the managed slots and it will be displayed in the confirmed booking section and when we click on it you can see that the slot is now confirmed and appearing for the user similarly on the user side if we go back to the my bookings we see that we have a slot at 5 pm with this user and there is a bbb meeting and when we click on that meeting it takes us to the why bbb meeting and and this meeting has been privately shared with the appointment user now in case of group bookings the instructor can simply assign the slot to a member group and when it does the group members will be assigned to this will be able to access the access the slot and the meetings this will cover in a later tutorial so another point is we can have multiple slots for the same time period and each slot can be booked by one person so you can have many slots for the same period as well So here we defined more time slots and wherever there was a time slot it now shows that we have two time slots each time slot can be booked by a particular user or by a group and if we exit from the manage slots zone you will see that the slots appear in the dark green color so here the dark the light green means that this is one particular slot and the and the darker shade of the green means that there are two slots here 
since the slots are not saved you also see a undo button and you can click to remove these slots now let's see how paid bookings work in the vibe appointments so for paid bookings the instructor needs to set a price for the slot S by default the slot price is set to zero now currently this is only integrated with woocommerce so here you set the price and now when the price is set any student user will now try to book your slot book this instructor slot we'll see a price option right so here are the slots available for to this user and when i click on it there is a notification that the payment must be completed in 15 minutes this is again customizable and the price for this booking is 15 pounds and then you confirm it and you will see that the status has changed to processing and you can add more slots So all these slots are now added in your card and now when we visit our card here you see that we have the four slots available and each of these slot come with the slot ID which is the reference ID for this particular booking and the user can simply proceed to the checkout and complete the purchase. So let's just approve this purchase. So if you have WooCommerce auto approve orders installed, then this purchase will be automatically approved and we can set the status of this purchase to complete. So now when we view our profile and go back to the appointments, you see that the bookings are now available. So next is the directory. So directory for directories we have created a element or widget and you can directly edit any page with element or and insert the appointments directory widget inside it and herein you can specify the total number of members default sort by and you can select a particular member type for which you want the directory to work all the bookable instructors in my site i've given them the member type of instructor and i've selected the member type as instructor so only the users with member type instructor will appear note that this is the member type not the user role then we can show pagination and the filters so by default you will see slot availability and slot price filters and just like members directory you can add more filters which are based on the users profile field now not all profile field filters will be available in the select field filters section only those filters which have the auto link enabled so if you edit any filter and enable this auto link feature here you will see that filter in the select filter section so in my previous video I also showed you how you can create multiple member cards and apply these member cards to a particular member type. So here I created this member card called instructor and here I added the fields which are provided by appointment so we just search for booking and here you can see I added the booking price, the booking star rating, the booking rating count can also be added these are the buddy press profile fields name description then this is the phone number and this is the member type so once we have saved this we can open the appointments directory and here you can see the appointments directory appears and based on the slot create that we have created you can search for different members based on the availability you can also select the availability on particular days and you can also sort by the price that is set for these 
users and you can also sort by the custom profile fields that you have created and also use the search option we can also create member profiles for the users for that we have the bookable slots field so if you simply search for book you will see that we have the bookable slots which you can add to the users profile and assign this use assign this profile to a particular member type so only those member types will show these these profiles with the bookable slots so that's it from wp lms tutorials thanks for watching